Recent global changes are delivering critical messages to us. Progress towards global biodiversity targets over the last decade has been limited and biodiversity continues to decline. Sustained efforts are needed at all levels and across all sectors to address drivers of biodiversity loss through integrated social ecological approaches. The IPBES Global Assessment indicates that achieving the 2050 vision for biodiversity will require transformative change that integrates economic, social, political and technological factors. National Biodiversity Strategies and Action Plans NBSAPs, are the main instruments to implement the Convention on Biological Diversity. They set out a roadmap for each party to integrate biodiversity considerations into national decision-making and mainstream issues across all sectors. With NBSAPs, parties can work towards the 2050 vision for biodiversity, a world living in harmony with nature. While international frameworks and conventions set global goals and pathways, at the regional level, cross-sectoral approaches, such as landscape approaches, can reconcile multiple interests, values and forms of resource use. A landscape, or seascape, can be thought of as a mosaic of ecosystems and human settlements, characterized by diverse interactions between people and nature. By integrating both development and conservation priorities, landscape and seascape approaches are distinctive, space-based and collaborative strategies for sustainability. When managed in a multifunctional way, landscapes and seascapes provide a variety of ecosystem services and enhance quality of life, while maintaining biodiversity and strengthening resilience to environmental changes or shocks. Through iterative learning, adaptation and long-term commitment, trade-offs between conservation and development are minimized and competing demands are reconciled. Landscape approaches can help to mainstream biodiversity across all sectors and within national decision-making frameworks. With NBSAPs as a foundation, landscape approaches can also contribute to efforts on various global agendas, such as the SDGs and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. Therefore, it is crucial to incorporate them into NBSAPs. To help integrate and implement landscape approaches in NBSAPs, cooperation is crucial. This needs to engage a wide variety of actors, including governments, businesses, civil society organizations, academic institutions, and indigenous people and local communities, across national, subnational, and local levels. NBSAP coordinators can take the following steps to integrate landscape approaches into NBSAPs. Assess applicability of landscape approaches. Identify national goals or targets relevant to landscape approaches. Bring together representatives of relevant stakeholder groups. Identify resources required to implement landscape approaches. Circulate draft NBSAPs for public consultation. Once the landscape approach elements have been incorporated into the NBSAPs, Specify how different stakeholders will implement the landscape approaches in the NBSAPs. Identify and use key indicators to measure success. Introduce policies and strategies to incentivize commitment by relevant sectors and local authorities. Apply landscape approaches where national authorities are responsible. Support other sectors to plan and implement landscape approaches locally. Address conflicts and minimize trade-offs. Align the monitoring and review process with the process of submitting NBSAPs and national reports to the CBD. It is challenging to realize these key factors successfully. However, in countries that have been implementing good practices, landscape approaches have helped raise awareness, mobilize resources, and make local plans more actionable. For instance, in Cancun, Mexico, CBD COP13 was key in bringing biodiversity mainstreaming to the attention of various sectors. It mobilized significant energy, resources and political will towards successfully incorporating integrated approaches in production landscapes and mainstreaming other sectors into NBSAPs. 
With EU funds, legal regulations and public awareness raising activities, Estonia was able to restore 2,500 hectares of grasslands with the involvement of landowners, local farmers and farming companies. In 2016, the Republic of Guinea incorporated landscape approaches in their second NBSAP. The focus was on identifying large ecosystem groups, categories of physical landscapes and socio-cultural issues. In South Africa, the Biodiversity Stewardship Program secures land in biodiversity priority areas by entering into agreements with private and communal landowners. In order to facilitate integration and implementation of landscape approaches into NBSAPs, UNU, IAS and the Institute for Global Environmental Strategies, in cooperation with the Secretariat of CBD, have developed a manual. This provides a technical guide to help policy administrators and other relevant stakeholders apply landscape approaches in updating and implementing NBSAPs and other relevant strategies and policies in line with the post-2020 GBF. If every country adopts approaches that build healthy human-nature relationships, we will be much closer to achieving the 2050 vision of societies in harmony with nature.